but as we're talking about tomorrow being the first official day right. of summer, you know, it feels hot now, but we've got to be aware that it's going to get even hotter. Summertime isn't the time, though, to be careless, especially when it comes to our pets. I know, and you know, we saw Tina at the beginning of the newscast. She's actually in North Austin right now with a look at those dangers that can happen when you leave your dog alone in a car as we hit the summer. Well, Yvonne and Jessica, yeah, our dogs are part of our family. They want to be us and we with us and we want to be with them. But sometimes it can be very dangerous if we have them with us and we leave them alone in the car. We've got some experts here to talk about that. First, we've got Doug Shoup here from AAA. Nice to see you, Doug. Hi, nice to see you, Tina. And we've got little Abigail here with us, our little furry friend. So tell us just how fast can a car turn hot and dangerous? This is an extremely dangerous time for traveling with pets. We all want to travel with right. our four-legged companions, but, you know, a car can actually increase in temperature by 20 degrees in just 10 minutes. Wow. Even on a cooler day yeah. like today, 78, 80 degrees, right. the temperature inside a car can exceed 90 degrees even when parked in the shade or in a cloudy day like today. It could exceed 160 degrees if parked in the sun, and that's wow. on a relatively mild day. What about air conditioning? Can you just leave your dog in the car with the air conditioning on? Right. You know, a lot of people do that. They think that they can perhaps maybe roll their window down a little bit, crack their window, or sometimes they will park in the shade thinking that they're okay, or even leave their car running with the air conditioning on. That is still extremely dangerous. The reason why is there have been cases where the car has overheated yeah. and then it's only blowing out hot air and then the dog is breathing in that hot air. All right, Doug, thank you so much. We've also got another friend here with us this morning. Come on over here with me, photographer Kenneth. We've got Summer Huggins from Austin Pets Alive and she's got a little furry friend with her too. Who's this? This is Lulu. She's about a four-year-old chihuahua up for adoption with Austin Pets Alive. And I have to tell you, if you're looking for a companion for your summertime travels, she was so great in the car. She was happy to be with me, napped in the front seat and listened to the radio with me. She likes the microphone too, but you can't eat that, Lulu. I'm sorry. So dogs don't sweat like humans. So being inside the car for an extended period of time in this heat is a big problem. It, it is. My my forehead is sweating to cool off my body as warm as it, as it is today, but Lulu's forehead can't do that. She pants she, to cool herself off. Her mm -hmm. pads work to cool her body off, too. So we really need to be aware of the signals of overheating for a dog and make sure we're taking care of them in the summertime heat. So what's the best way to keep them cool? Well, not take them out in the midday like this. Mm -hmm. Really, if you're going to exercise and walk, do that first thing in the morning or late in the evening. Make sure there's always plenty of fresh, cool water and shade for them to hang out. Out in and really watch if they look any different than they do on a normal day. Extra panning, thick saliva that's coming out that, that you're not used to seeing. That means they're in distress and really need to, to get some care. All right, Summer, thank you. Lulu looking pretty good right now, I gotta say. She is up for adoption again. We want to remind everybody. So here we have this trusty thermometer from our uh, K, K View engineering department. We're gonna turn it on, we're gonna put it inside this car here. Thank you, Doug, for helping me. And we're gonna see just how warm it gets in here in the next half hour and then uh, Jessica and Yvonne, we will get back to you in a half hour and check and see exactly how warm that is just to emphasize the danger even on a, a cooler day like this one. Yeah, you know, Tina, we've looked at these sorts of things you know, year to year, and it is just remarkable how high you see that temperature climb in such a short amount of time. So yeah, we'll definitely be interested to see how fast it happens within just this 30 minute segment. Yeah, it's only the you know mid of June, end of June now, uh, but we have already gotten warnings from the Travis County Sheriff's Department telling us to please tell people that it, the temperatures are going to get warmer, and they've already seen some um, calls about pets being in cars and overheating in cars already. So as the summer goes on, we all know the triple digits are not too far away, so we got to make sure we take care of our animals in this heat. Yep, tomorrow's the first day. Thanks so much, Tina. We'll check back with you in a little bit.